your teeth, your grill and shit busted up. I feel for you, man. But at the same time, young ladies, all of us, all of us, because all this stuff can happen to any one of us. I'm not exempt. I'm not trying to act like I'm higher than anybody. But I got to understand that I have my peace of mind to work with. Welcome back to Same Old Gossip Reheated. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Help me get in that algorithm. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Now, go over and follow me on Instagram. Same old Gossip Reheated. Same name as this channel, right? The reason I'm saying that is because this video has been up on there for days. And I've been meaning to get to this video, but now I'm getting to it now, right? So, it's a girl that I'm about to show you, right? It's a girl... She's claiming that she was drugged. She does not remember what happened. And I'm going to break down how these rap songs don't tell you everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> when keeping it freaky goes wrong. Roll the clip. I don't remember coming home. I know straight don't remember coming home because I don't remember coming home. I remember coming in the door. I straight slept on the floor. I don't remember none of this shit. I got a whole bed. Why am I on the floor? That's why I don't go nowhere, cuz I swear to God, it be these niggas y'all like. Y'all, y'all say like. Y'all think that nigga is like motherfuckers be on that. Motherfuckers do not be on that, cuz look, look. You only end up like this, like leave these niggas alone. Look at my teeth. I am, I am. They don't give a fuck. And who uh, thought that was laughing? Look at my teeth. What you said, Dave? Like, I straight got an orch in my mouth, cuz. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. Motherfuckers think shit, shit cool. And it's not. A motherfucker straight drug me last night. And it, if it's that serious about some pussy, cuz, I straight wouldn't want it. You straight have to drug me when y'all when I say I don't feel I, I I'm still fucked up. I'm still fucked up. You hear me? Cause I'm straight still fucked up. I do not remember anything, and I don't like that. I straight don't like that. Then nigga, you gonna keep my phone? What the fuck is you keeping my phone for? What is you keeping my phone for? Look at my lip, y'all. And then you will straight bring me home and not to no hospital, nigga. That's how I know you did something to me. I don't even remember nothing, y'all. I remember when, we, when he first got, when we first got together. We, I wasn't even supposed to be with this man. I'm straight duck Q school just to go with him on my kids. I'm straight duck them. Because the nigga, I ain't going to lie when I met him on the boat. The nigga was trying to spend. I ain't going to lie. The nigga was trying to spend some money. And I don't fuck with broke niggas, so I just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't think nobody would do that to me. Like, me, I'm the life of the party. You don't got to drug me. Like, for real, what the fuck are you drugging me for? Look at my teeth, and then I fell on my teeth. You wouldn't take me to the hospital. Y'all people would say sick as a motherfucker, bro. Like, he do. He look worse as a motherfucker. Why y'all don't fuck with this man? The fuck? Look, I when you, when you then, he added me on Facebook, y'all. This is how I know this man put something in my drink. First of all, I never get drunk to where I can't remember nothing. As you already know this, we didn't got that shit established. Why the fuck my lashes go? I got makeup in my pants. You blocked me and my phone is gone. I made sure I had my phone with me the whole night. And my shit was charged. I, call, I don't even remember me even calling you, bro. I don't remember nothing. Who was the nigga set him out? It's say like, call the police, girl. Pray for you, y'all. Thank everybody. Thank everybody. I swear to God. What's dude name? His name Nino. And I, I didn't even look at his Facebook name. What's dude name? His name Nino. We went to 922, y'all. Look, our first place. Now. The reason I said these rap songs don't tell you everything when keeping it freaky goes wrong is because out of all that rambling and, 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 and her going off, her feeling violated, she still felt the need to say he was spinning, yeah, because I don't fuck with no broke niggas. Sweetie, you talking about your vagina has possibly been taken by a stranger and you're telling me 
that you're worried about him and how much of a spender he is and how you don't mess with broke dudes, your priorities is all out of whack. Hey there, trivia lovers. Get ready to embark on a journey through black entertainment culture, sports, and fashion. Can you answer these questions that'll take you back in time? Question one. In the world of music and entertainment, what's the name of Beyonce's first solo tour? It was the unforgettable Dangerously in Love tour. Question two. In the realms of music and fashion, can you recall the song Tupac performed at the Versace fashion show? It was the legendary California Love. Question three. Turning to the sports arena, how many games did the legendary Kobe Bryant play during his NBA career? It was an astounding 1,346 games. Question four. In the world of cinema and family fun, what was the name of the amusement park in the movie Bebe's Kids? If you guessed Fun World, you are correct. Get ready to challenge yourself, family, and friends as you dive into a world of trivia. Visit withoutgoogle.store to get your own trivia game today. It's your passport to a world of knowledge and fun. Because, let's just say, let's just say... I don't know nothing about nothing because I don't know this young lady, right? Well, then, if you don't mess with broke dudes and you come with a price, right, then is, if he throw you some money, is everything okay? Now, people would say that that's victim blaming, victim shaming. But all I'm saying is that how much of this falls on her? Now I know people will be like, pick me, pick me. It's always the woman's fault and you're always looking out for the man. No, I'm going to tell you that, young lady, you have to look out for yourself. Nobody out this motherfucker is looking out for you. Not your mama, not your motherfucking daddy, not your goddamn sister. Because guess what? Survival of the fittest. You have to worry about self first. Plane going awry, I don't have time to put your mask on. I have to put my mask on first, then I can help you. So that's what I'm getting at. So when people be like, oh, you're victim blaming. No, we're not. What we're saying is you have to have some self-awareness outside of this nigga getting to the paper and this can go wrong or how it can go wrong. How can it go good? You have to have something else in your mind other than having pleasure, instant gratification at all times. If you're thinking that you're about to just be on this cloud nine in life at all times, you're sadly mistaken, young lady. And reason I'm saying nobody cares about you, she also said in that video, I'm the life of the party. You don't have to drug me. And, yeah, I understand what she's saying. Because if you spin it, I can go. I'm going to go, right? But how many times have we heard that the girls that are quote-unquote hoes, they get violated the most? Like, okay, let's say all women get violated, Right? But how do the hoes get violated the most and they be out here giving it up like that? That should tell you something. You're not aware of what's going on. And that's what I'm saying. She like, oh, you didn't take me to the hospital. Excuse me. You're wanting a stranger to take you to the hospital. We're in a world where people kill people. People grape people. <laughs> people... I only laugh because that great. It's just kind of funny. We we in a world where people violate children, grandmas. I mean, scam, do all kind of crimes. And you telling me that none of this stuff in the world is supposed to affect you ever in life. 
these these rap songs got you got your hair twisted, ma'am. They done fucked you off. Real ass nigga, give up. Come on. Come on. We got to cut the music off at some point in our lives. Man. Hey, man. I get it. City girls up a thousand. City boys down a thousand. I get all that silly ass shit that y'all play on the internet. But you got to understand that. Hey, man. Is somebody out who, who willing to take your, 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 your dignity, your, your integrity? Somebody willing to take that just so they can have pleasure. So we can keep playing these games as if um, this danger isn't out here. Or we can wake up to it and say, oh, you know what I mean? I'm going to be on my P's and Q's. I ain't, I'm going to go out. If I'm looking for the paper like that, I'm not going to drink nothing. How about that? I ain't going, I ain't out here to be drinking and smoking. You know, if I'm the, and this is what you have to know what you're doing. And this is why you really have to understand the pimp and hoe culture. I am 100% a square, right? Nine to five. I don't even have that many sex partners. Never stepped out like that. I'm not even getting down like that. But I understand a hoe's life. If a hoe is taking instructions from her pimp, right? If she gonna be on her P's and Q's, what does she look like getting sloppy drunk, hitting the weed, doing the coke? Even though I'm saying, they, I know that these type of girls are out there too in that game. But what does she look like doing that? And then trying to make the maximum dollar out of her vagina. That makes zero sense. So I'm inebriated around a person that's more powerful than me, right? Has more money than me possibly at the time. So the, he has all the cards in his hand and I'm just going to get sloppy drunk, high, whatever. And then I'm just what? I'm just flesh. I'm just out here. Ugh, do whatever you want to me. And that's the part that's not told in the songs. Remember, man, Carisha and JT and Lotto and Meg Thee Stallion and all these girls you can just rattle off that got these freaky lyrics that's telling you to be a hoe and sexual liberation and all that. These women come with security guards. Somebody that's going to get them out of a dangerous situation. Not so much Meg, but you get what I'm saying. These people come with, they're insulated within their circle. I'm not saying that things can't happen to them, but it's more likely to happen to you, young lady, because you have nobody that's going to look out for you. You do look like a piece of meat when you're out here getting drunk and high with people. And I know you want to say, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think he would slip me anything in my drink. The person you don't think will do it will do it. The person you don't think will do anything to you is more than likely the person that is going to do something to you. You know, they say don't have guns in your house because you're more than likely to get shot by somebody you know, shot and killed by somebody you know, than a random stranger on the street. If that statistic holds true in that type of danger, then we have to, you know, take that type of knowledge and apply it to other ways in life that it can go into. Now, listen, I posted this, like I said, on my Instagram page. People were saying, get over it. You know, running these kind of pages and being on social media, you get to see how nasty people are. And what I mean by that, like they on my comments talk about, oh, shut up, get over it, all the little, and I'm not saying that. I feel for you, your teeth, your grill and shit busted up. I feel for you, man. But at the same time, young ladies, all of us, all of us, because all this stuff can happen to any one of us. I'm not exempt. I'm not trying to act like I'm higher than anybody. But I gotta understand that I have my peace of mind to work with, and if. That's all I have, and that's all the advantage that I have. Then I'm going to be as clear minded, if you know what that's off of. I'm going to be as clear minded as possible when it comes to me wanting to party with strangers because they have money. 
And I don't fuck with broke niggas. What the fuck is we talking about? What is we talking about? Then you up here talking about, oh, Facebook friend. What? What, ma'am? If you made it this far, man, do whatever you want. Drop any type of emoji in them comment sections. You know, talk to me. Tell me your piece of this. I'm live every Friday. 7 p.m. EST. Holla at me, man.